Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we are going over a breakdown for Yushiro and Tamayo. Yushiro is a very interesting character where he's a demon, but he doesn't really play like any of the other demons, and he's got a really, lot of unique things about his playstyle. Not only the fact that he is a demon and he gains health back when he bursts, but also has a sidekick who can poison or do it straight up unblockable on the opponent, but he also has the only like parry in the game. He's got such strange mechanics for such a random character, but he's very unique for it. He doesn't do huge damage, but he can do pretty decent damage when you accumulate all the all the little bits and pieces you're gonna get from him. So Oops, okay. Let's start off with his buttons. His regular attack string doesn't do much damage, and that's gonna be kind of a theme with Yushiro. It's not awful, but it's pretty low damage. It's kind of Shinobu level low damage. And it takes quite a long time, so often you're not really going to be doing much of this attack string because it's just wasting time for not much damage. Same thing with this down attack string. I don't think I've ever done this. Like, it's not that much damage. and It's barely even more than his regular attack string. His up attack string is just also something I don't really find useful. So, whoop, there we go. There's his attack strings. Um, his aerial attacks, on the other hand, actually, I mean, they're also pretty average. They don't have great hitboxes, ex oh, except for the second hit, seems to have a really good hit on it. Has a really good hitbox around here. That's surprising, I didn't even know that. But um, it's quite useful compared with his sidestep, which puts him like straight down to the ground. So you can do an instant air sidestep into his aerial attacks, and if that manages to hit, then cool. You're getting a combo. And um, you can do some pretty cool stuff from it. Get a hard knockdown, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good combined with his pretty sharp aerial sidestep. Um, anyways, his tilt attack in the air is also pretty average, if not maybe below average. Its distance that it goes is like actually pretty okay. It's got a decent angle and it hits decently in front of him. It doesn't awkwardly hit not in front of him like Shinobu's, so it's pretty good. It starts a red combo just like most characters. So nothing too much to brag about, but it's also not bad, so that's a good thing. His tilt attack is unfortunately not amazing. It's cool how it advances with a few hits, so you can kind of like armor through for longer, but having extra hits also has the liability of it just randomly missing the last two hits or the last one hit, which is really annoying. And also it takes a really long time, so as you can see, it is a red combo, but by the time he's done the the single move, you've basically lost half of your red combo counter. It's sort of an amazing armor attack, but you know, it's an armor attack, it gets the job done. Um, his grab is also, you know, pretty average. It has average range, nothing ridiculous, and the speed is nothing ridiculous. It's actually pretty good, it's not too slow though. And it does slightly above average damage, but what's really good about it is it has a long, hard knockdown. So if I spend a bit of meter here, you can see I can get about two bars of meter back just from a single grab. Which is pretty important, because as you're going to see, we're going to be doing a lot of grabs with Yushiro. So yeah, as you can see there, two bars of meter every time you go for a grab. Which is pretty amazing, considering a lot of his combos, you're going to be doing stuff like this. I'm going in for grab resets. So then you spent two bars on the combo, you get a decent amount of damage with the reset, and from the reset with the grab, you get the meter back. So that's pretty cool. Um, and as for his movement, as I said, nothing too exceptional. His ground sidestep is actually really weirdly slow when he does that barrel roll, and his dashing in is pretty average, but the only thing about his aerial sidestep is that it's got quite a juicy angle, which is good for his aerial attacks, which have decent hitbox when you combine them with his aerial attack. Okay, now for his specials. His special one is just basically a bunch of punching. He just punches a bunch. What it's mainly useful for is it restands the opponent. So after a combo like this, a lot of the time you're just going to be doing a few hits into this and you get a restand from it. And from that restand, because the opponent falls down, it actually has quite a lot of hit 
um, advantage. So you have a lot of time where you can go for a grab, and the opponent needs to be mashing all the jump away to get away from it. And even then, sometimes in the online delay, the jump can kind of get messed up, and the grab sometimes guaranteed. So it's really good for resets, and as if the going for the grab wasn't a good reset enough, having Lady Tamayo makes it even good better as well, because then as they land on the ground, she goes for unblockable, and you get some really practically unavoidable resets, and it's really awesome. Other than that, I guess it's a combo extender, but it takes so long that you don't really want to use it too much as a combo extender, because your combo time is basically gone by the time he does it. But you can combo from it, so that's kind of cool. In the air, it's pretty similar. He do, you know, does the flurry of punches, except it bounces the opponent up and gets a hard knockdown. So if you are wanting a hard knockdown um, and a little bit extra damage, perhaps you don't just want to go for your aerial attack string. If you want to do your aerial attack string into this, you can get a little bit more damage and a hard knockdown and go for that. And I believe you can also get a combo from it if you're closest to the ground. Oops. Yeah. And... Yeah, that's about it for that special move. His tilt special is actually also pretty unique. It's pretty resemblant of Susamaru's tilt special where she flips sideways and then throws the ball except Yushiro dashes in afterwards and he runs really quickly and then does these rapid punches and you can actually get a combo from it which is really cool and obviously this special move is being the same in the air it is just a really good way for Yushiro to get in not that he's lacking a few options his next option we're talking about his guard special is also really good but having the option of even doing like a jump sidestep into the dodge, so like jump sidestep dodge into the dash in, into a combo starting dash in, is a really good option to have. And it's really powerful and it can get you around a lot of things that characters usually can't get around, especially with the linear approach that a lot of characters have in this game where you just run in a straight line and like have to sidestep out of the way and then sidestep has a bunch of recovery and it can be really hard to get around like Yahaba's straight projectiles and stuff like that. But having the dodge into a dash in is really, really powerful, and I think if you just throw it out a bunch of the time when you think, like, you're unsure if it'll work, I think you should just test out using it, and it works a surprising amount of the time. The only unfortunate thing about it is he can't cancel... Actually... Yeah, I, I don't know what I was saying there. Um, it just has a long activation, and if the opponent is blocking it, there is a little bit of a gap after that first hit, so you have to make sure if the opponent is wanting to interrupt you there, because it is interruptible, so... <clears throat> Whew, I don't know why I talked around that so much. It's interruptible in between the first and second hits of this, so if your opponent is going to interrupt you here, you have to make sure you cancel it into something else, like your strike or your guard special, which is safe, and a parry. So just be careful of that, or you can also just jump away and do whatever you want. But just be careful. His guard special is one of his really, really unique things that we have to talk about now. So, on face value, it's kind of a really awesome, useful special move. So he just dashes forwards, does this cool, awesome cycle flip, kind of like Neji, and it can start a combo for free. He gets a free dash up from it, doesn't cost any meter for that dash. And he can just get some really cool free combos from it, and that's just amazing. And not only that, is it a free combo starter that dashes in on the opponent. So it's kind of like Rengoku in that way, where he just dashes in. It's just a little bit slower, because he has to run up. But free combos from it. Rengoku doesn't even get a free dash in. And also, this is safe on block. So I can just do this. The opponent can't punish me. Even though it looks like it's punishable, I am unpunishable here. And so yeah, all of that stuff makes this special move really, really powerful. And you haven't even taken into consideration the main use of it is that it's a parry, and it's the only one in the game that I can think of. That if the opponent hits him while he's running, he goes into this weird, darkened state where he does this, like, flip, and anything that hits him, he'll go into this state, he's invincible for a bit, until the very end. He can be interrupted at the very end when he does that palm strike at the end, so any armor attack or counter, like you use counter, can hit him out of it. But if anyone tries to do anything, yep, yeah, look, Sabito just beat me there. But you can actually cancel out of the way of it, so you're not completely defenseless. You can dash out of the way by doing something like that. I see some people complaining that like Giyu is an awful matchup because Giyu can just do a parry whenever you do a parry. But when Giyu goes for his parry, 
if you see he does, just cancel out of the way and do something else, like do this, and then dodge his parry, and then by the time this hits, his parry is over and you get a full combo from it. So just think a little bit more and then the matchup's really awesome still. But, talking about this parry, so literally any attack that hits him, he'll go into this slow down state, everyone will slow down, and he'll do this safe on block thing, and just like the debilitating blow, he gets a free combo from it. So he can dash out for free, get a full, lovely juicy combo off of it. He can actually get 3200 damage for a single bar, um, extended from it, and then go for the grab reset, and that's like half of the opponent's life for that one single grab reset, and also have the option of going for Tamayo resets. So pretty awesome stuff, he gets a lot of juicy damage, and you're going to be getting this a lot, because it makes it an awesome move to do like off of the opponent, if the opponent's pressing buttons on you. It's an awesome, ooh. <laughs> You have to hold it down if you're, um, because when he goes to do the jump up to do the the cartwheel thing, he's not in, in the parry state then, it's only when he's got the, the aroma around him when he's running and when he's charging it, so you can actually hold it down to make that last for longer. So if you are using it as a, as a push thing, goodness me, you can use it like that really effectively and you're going to be getting that tons of times in each game. That was an unavoidable reset, don't know why I went for a grab there, but tell me you can be pretty scary, we're getting to her soon. But uh, yeah, it's a really awesome parry, it's safe on block, it starts combos for free, and the fact that it's safe on block and a parry means you can just do it over and over again. Like, I can do it, the opponent blocks it, and if they try and like press buttons on me, I can do it again and they'll get parried if they try to press a button. It's just, it's kind of crazy. And uh, yeah, as you saw, it's used in a lot of combos because you can get the free dash in. Oops. Okay, now to talk about Tamayo. If you press just the neutral demon special, Tamayo just appears on top of the opponent and does this poison blast on the opponent. It doesn't do any instant damage, it's only poison damage, but it's a lot of potential poison damage and it's a fixed amount of damage. So no matter what the damage scale is on your combo or the character, it will always do that amount of poison at the end of your combo, which can be really handy. So say I've done a combo where I've like, you know, dashed in and I've got an airborne combo and I'm doing some resets like, oops. Um, oh, that was actually a combo there, I was fast enough. But as you can see, it adds a lot more damage to the combos when you factor in the poison damage. But it's also, as I was trying to show, but I was just too quick. It's also really good for going into grab resets, and that makes that grab practically unavoidable. I'm not sure there is any way to avoid that grab except for an ultimate. And you can do that at the end of any long combo, like what we showed before, any type of combo you're doing. Um, if you end in her doing this and then going for a grab, it's a really, really awesome and very tight reset. As long as you combo into her, the opponent falls to the ground, you get your grab, lots of poison damage, and Bob's your uncle, you get your grab, you get to build back a bunch of meter, and because they're on the ground for a bit, you get a bit of time to build back Tamayo. Um, that's the only real use for the poison special, um, is going in for restands into a grab, and then getting a bunch of poison damage, and a bunch of grab damage, and a bunch of grab knockdown time. Because it's not really useful for too much other than that. The really useful thing is her tilt special, which is an unblockable area of effect special move that starts yellow combos. And it has tons of active frames. So unlike things like Enmu's unblockable, which is just the flash and it's done, this has so many active frames. Here, let me get a hard knockdown. So as you can see, she'll be out for a bit before Sabito is able to be hit, and he can wake up into it. So it's you can do it in like really sleazy bad timing so as you can see that it was happening before he stood up but then he stood up into it which means there was literally no way he could have avoided it which is pretty horrifying considering the fact that it starts a yellow combo so any of these combos that I was just showing you like this as long as you get the timing right you can go for a reset there. Why do I keep going for a grab there? I'm thinking about Enmu. 
But after the unblockable, obviously you can just go in for a full combo. And it's going to be a little bit shorter this time. But getting these resets, especially when the opponent's life is low, is really terrifying stuff. You can just loop these unavoidable resets off of a lot of situations. So even off of your grab, because it has such a long knockdown, you can make an unblockable reset off of it. They can be a little bit avoided off of the hard knockdown ones, because the opponent can wake up and like roll sideways if they choose to do that. But off of these aerial resets, where the opponent just falls down into her, there is like no way they can avoid it except for maybe throwing an ultimate. So unavoidable resets is very terrifying, but unfortunately since he does low damage, he's not going to get tons from it, but it's still really, really awesome, especially if you're considering a low life situation. So I've kind of talked about them already, but I'll have my combo segment now. So combos with Yushiro, his B&B combo that I suggest you use most of the time is just hit confirming as soon as you can into your debilitating blow, dashing up doing your aerial attack string, one hit into your standing special, and you can either go for a grab here. If you go for a grab, it's honestly pretty decent damage. That's like 30% of the opponent's life and you get to build back two bars of meter from the grab hard knockdown. Or you can go for a Lady Tamayo reset in some capacity there. You can either go for her like this, which is unavoidable, and mess up your combo like I did just there somehow. Twice. <laughs> or you can go for a Lady Tamayo reset. Oops, that one was a little bit off. Oh my goodness, I keep messing it up. But after you end a combo, you just do a few attacks, have Tamayo after this, she does her thing, the opponent lands, you go for your grab, and goodness me, I showed that before, and I'm, I think I'm getting a little bit exhausted from doing all these combos, but it's good guaranteed grabs and poison, it's pretty awesome. If you're getting a combo off of a red attack, of a red combo, if it's off of your tilt attack, really, I think just give up and go for a hard knockdown, like you're not going to get any damage. I guess you could try going for a reset, but you don't even have much time to bring out Tamiyo unless like you just do some attacks and then just stop attacking. I guess you could do something like that. Like here. Oh no, that accidentally comboed. Yeah, it's gonna be tricky unless you maybe go for actually her poison special because then you get potential damage from the poison. But I recommend you just take the hard knockdown and use this as an excuse to get a bunch of meter back so that you can go more crazy with your parries in the future. So just do, really not many, just do a few hits into your hard knockdown. Take a hard knockdown, build some meter back, and yeah, save the damage for later. Same goes for stuff like this. You can get a few more hits though. Get a hard knockdown. I think off of this though, you can actually get into your Lady Tamiyo stuff. And yeah, that's the only red combos he gets. I don't think I talked about his ultimate activation though. His ultimate activation is decently long range and decently fast, but it's not full screen, so just do be careful. But it looks so amazing with this animation. Gorgeous with all the flowers. <clears throat> probably one of the best animated ultimates in the game. It looks awesome. And um, you're probably going to be using it a lot because just to get some guaranteed damage with this guy. Because off of any of the combos that we've been doing before, because they're reset combos, you have time to throw in an ultimate at the end. So just this stuff that we were doing already. You can throw in an ultimate in there and get some ultimate damage from it. If you're getting a combo from your parry... Ooh. You can actually do a full attack string into your special one, and then you can either go for a reset or go for an ultimate here. So you get pretty decent damage off of the parry, it's pretty awesome. A full attack string into your special one is the most you're ever going to get, really. <laughs> And in boost mode, oops, stop that please, in boost mode, 
he has an extra combo ender. So if you want to end your combos slightly differently, you can you know, make them a little bit different. Like maybe do something like this. Let's see if this works. Doesn't do too much damage, but it does lead to a reasonably long hard knockdown, just like his grab. But I don't think it's anything too special that you'd be going for too much, especially when his grab kind of does the same thing. And in surge mode, I'm not actually too sure what combos are best to do with him. Hey, let me just try doing some random stuff. But I'm sure just like most characters, you can just do a bunch of special moves into each other. Yeah, unfortunately he doesn't do much damage even in surge mode it seems. I'm sure there are some cool complex things you can do when you use Tamayo and stuff. But... I think as a basis, he's low damage but high potential character. He has high potential for mix-ups, he has high potential for mix-ups into a grab which give him a bunch of meter back to go for more mix-ups, he has high potential for just hitting the opponent by just throwing out this debilitating blow all day. I know when I was playing him I just threw this out all day because it's a parry and it's safe and if it doesn't work you can do it again and if the opponent tries to take their turn back you hit them back. He has great poison damage and resets with Tamayo into grabs. He has the most unblockable, I mean, unavoidable, most ridiculous resets with Tamayo's unblockable. He's a pretty crazy character. But uh, yeah, that's my breakdown for Yushiro. I hope you learned something and I hope you pick him up because he's a pretty fun, unique character. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.